Hi, good day. This is powerful level one of dynamic charting, right? Using pivot table. So we also incorporate this table, right? So we have this structure reference. This is what it's called, the structure reference, right? Now notice that when I finish this, right, I did not do a few down of the formula. Let's just enter, right? It's, it's just done. You see that? It's just done. And the next thing is that I'm going to choose uh, summarize with tables and uh, what it has this is in a system worksheet. Then click OK. So we done that. We have the amount, right? Oh, we haven't read it. So just give a name I call amount. Let's come back here. Right? So we might want to just do a, a refresh. Okay, I should have a mouse and we click on this, then there's a mouse and uh, we have the item numbers, right? So that is a lot, right? So I want to find out the top five, uh, the top seven, right? So let's just click here. There is no value filter that seems like, okay, it seems like this is written as uh, numbers, as numbers rather than that. So. We, we might want to do some changes, right? This is written as a number, so I'm sure if we could just try that, right? Just change it to general. Uh, would that be helpful? Let's just give a try. Uh, okay, right click. Yes, it's now available, right? You see, right, I noticed what I do is that I, I just change that to numbers, right? And next thing, um, filter, right, top top 10 so I want the top seven right top seven items click OK so these are the top t top seven right and then uh, you can might do a sorting on the largest smallest right and uh, you can even do a ranking right if you want to just right click change it to rank largest to smallest right so they're based on the item number right so of course this will be the one Okay, great. So uh, we have a data set right now. We can go ahead and create a pure chart. Okay, uh, that's about it, right? This is the chart. This is the pure chart, and it has all the items, right? I would like to make this. I can even, uh, yeah, that that should be okay, right? And uh, we just right click, change it to. Um, maybe add data labels, right? Okay, right. So that's the e equivalence to the exact amount, right? But we want some percentage. So we just go to chart layout, <coughs> change this. Okay, and uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, you you can have a dynamic chart title as well, right? So uh, you use the ambassador to end to combine that, right? So for example, can't and now right so you can actually combine these and these right so that's can now but uh, you can also have a space in between so then well we're talking about using ampersand and right so using that idea right so we want to do a calculation of from here to here right so we can also make use of the how to count how many items are there right so kind uh, count Count will do right. Count on this. Then we got I eight items because we have this data here, right? So if you ignore the remove the grand total, right? You have seven that, right? That that should be okay. That count right. Then next is that, uh, uh, we can add this word by pie chart shows the shows the top. Sevens uh, items, top sevens items, top sevens item last month. Or you can add anything to one, right? It could be last month, last year, and so on, right? So that the pie just shows the very right? So instead of having a total right now, you select the chat titles and go to your. Um, or you can actually uh, what do this once the moment you select a total right instead of clicking on the 
on chat title you can use the F2 key the function key F2 and press the equal sign click on this and we can see that uh, it's not changing right so that's the pie chart so that's a pie chart and uh, should we change the value here right then uh, we need to change that also right so let's say uh, this is no longer 800 but 800 right so 800 this has changed right so we right click and do a refreshment, right? So there is a change, see that? So you need to right click and refresh it. And uh, you can do a uh, optical illusion, right? Pressing white color or even covering with your chart. And that's a beautiful chart out of all, right? So we select the chart, uh, reduce the size, right? So it looks just presentable. Okay. Yep, that's, that's about it, right? So if you want to highlight particular items, you can click or you can enlarge shape, right? Or, yeah, click this, enlarge shape, right? Let's put the size then. So, okay, I hope you learned something, right? Thank you for watching this video, right? Uh, do join our data analysis class on every twice month, right? We have a data analysis class, one day data analysis class, right? Thank you.